Hey there, and welcome back to Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. As you recall, in the last episode, we made our ascension to the top of Kokular, where Optimus destroyed the Dark Spark. Or did he? Yeah, I don't know. And now, we are on to Chapter 10, The Jungle Hunted. Back with the Earth portion of the campaign. And if you thought the Cybertron portion was bad, oh, you're in for a treat now. Because things are just going to go downhill from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're playing as Bumblebee in the jungle. So, <clears throat> Bumblebee and Drift trail locked down to a remote facility surrounded by jungle. Cool beans. Let's get this over with. Sir, we're nearing the coordinates. Prepare to disembark. Yes, sir. A long chain of improbabilities placed the dark spark into my possession. When the universe presents you with an opportunity, you must never fail to capitalize on it. A sentiment I share with the humans. I see it, Bumblebee. Optimus. The honorless bounty hunter has arrived. Lockdown. So the trajectory was accurate. Can you conjecture as to his purpose? He's headed towards the structure identified on the long-range scans. Bumblebee thinks it's a military facility. Investigate, but be cautious. We need to know what he is after. Not yet, Bumblebee. But they have my trust. They will come to our aid when needed. Good luck. Snipers! We can flank them through the cover on the left. Okay, back with the movie bots. Start by taking cover on the left side and heading straight into vehicle mode. And switch from your rockets to your plasma cannon. This weapon is crazy OP. Think of it like a rapid fire pulsar cannon. Just watch this. <laughs> so OP. All right, let's move. Oh no! We got company. We got. Take him out. Drift, not helping. Oh, you moved, you sneaky snake. Gotcha. Now, hit up the bridge just a little bit. You want to trigger another enemy. There he is. Drift. All right, to the other side. Up here we got some ammo, let's grab it. Uh, what? <laughs> okay then. Head up this path, and you'll find a blocked gate. Destroy it. Which is awfully big for humans to be using, right? Anyway, we got a sharpshooter here. Take him down. Serves you well, Bumblebee. Let's turn their tactics against them. Use that sniper rifle to cover my approach. Uh Drift, you know how I feel about the Nucleon Charge Rifle in this game? Fine. But I don't have to like it. I hate this gun. At least in this game. FOC it's fine, but here, I <laughs> hate it. Ooh, got some mercenaries with purple arms up ahead. Hand the vehicle mode and blow them up with the plasma cannon. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. All right, slow loading times. All right, here. Let's see if we can snipe these guys. All right. Uh, this weapon is only good if you score headshots. All right. Be ready. We're about to have company on our right. Head to vehicle mode and prepare for him. Get boom! Boom! There we go. Alright, let's resupply. And move up. Oh, here we got a Chaos Rift Combustor. You could grab that. Might as well. Take him down! 
Back into alt mode. Get those rocket troopers. Too easy. Fuck, I'll just snipe you. Noosh. You're welcome, Mr. Roboto. Did I just headshot someone in midair with the plasma cannon? Wow. A little late on that delivery, don't you think? All right, well, let's grapple back up. Is this Dark of the Moon music? I don't recognize it from any other game, so I can only guess it's Dark of the Moon. All right, back into alt mode. We've got some mercs at the entrance. Where are you? There they are. Where's your buddy? Oh, he's hanging back. Okay, pity for you. Bumblebee, have you reached the facility? I understand. Heavy defenses indicate your mission is even more vital than we originally thought. Keep pressing forward. Okay. Well, oh, hang on. We got another mercenary up ahead. Ooh. Oh, look. Cybertronian snipers on Earth. Well, let's hit this weapons terminal first. We need some better equipment. Okay, let's get rid of this stupid nucleon charge rifle and exchange it for the Electro Bolter. Now, if you don't have that, another recommendation I have is the Photon Burst Rifle. I tested it out myself here, worked wonderfully. So, if you don't have the Bolter, and you don't want to be stuck with this, take the Burst Rifle. Now, for our heavy weapon, I'm going to go for the Glass Gas Cannon, because you know I love me some glassy gas. And if you don't have that, go for the Slingshock. It's a good weapon, good area of effect, just an overall great alternative to the Glass Gas Cannon. And that should be all we need. Okay, we have a challenge involving this sniper, the Sting Like a challenge, where we have to melee a sniper. This sniper here should fly straight toward us, making him a perfect target for this challenge. And here he comes. Like a bee. And I am so sorry I had to include that line here, but I just had to. Okay, that's that. Uh, nah, can't get him. Okay, let's head up past this bridge here to trigger the next wave of snipers. Once you have, fall back. Right behind this structure should do nicely. This will give you a good vantage point on the snipers. Where is he? Ooh, good hit. Oh, here's one. Gas him. Who did that? Where are you? There he is. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. More snipers. Ooh, bolt in the face. That has gotta hurt. Oh, another one. Oh man, I'm putting them down. Oh, mid-air shot, nice. We should be clear. Let's advance. Bumblebee, can you give me a lift? Yeah, be right there. Let me resupply first. Ah. Drift. Honestly. Come on. Really? Of course. Why not? More mercs. Careful! More mercenaries! 
Yeah, I can see them. Let's see what we got. <laughs> All right, got him. Let me get some more ammo. And I want you to indulge me for a minute. I want to show you something. In a <clears throat> shocking twist of fate, Edge of Reality actually designed a pretty decently looking map. <sighs> you get this nice, tranquil open area that just looks really nice. I'm actually surprised they went this far on it. But there's a downside to it, as there always is. For a level that is designed with a grappling character in mind, you can't do a whole lot with it. I mean, look, you'd think you could grapple right there. You can't. The only section you can really grapple up to is right over there. But you can't grapple to this side. I guess to their credit, we should be thankful they even gave us the ledge to grapple up to at all. But they could have done a whole lot better. Ah, oh, well. Anyway, that's that. Thank you for indulging me. Let's grapple up back out of here. I, I mean, you can grapple over there, but you can't grapple over there. What the frag, man? It's so weird. At least they give us a way out at all. In this game, you just gotta take what you could get, I guess. All right, I'm done. Rant over. All right, ready your heavy weapon. We got a couple mercs inbound. Boom. Mm, too easy. There is a weapons terminal in here, as you can see, but no need for that right now. Ooh, Ooh bolt in the face. Jump shooter on the roof. Take him out. Got some rocket people. I New love them. Oh. Okay. He got him uh. Hey. Where are you going? Boom. Oh. Mercenary shotgunner. Recognize him? That is our old friend the Seeker from Revenge of the Fallen. Just substantially modified. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. To the roof. Get glass. We're taking losses. I get a deck behind now. There we go. All clear. Ready then, hop down, and head into alt mode. Got a wave of mercs, spam them with the plasma cannon. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, and even though there's a whole lot to show here, there is a weapons terminal down below. But we don't need anything at this point. Oh, here's another weapons locker, but still don't need nothing. So, up on this thing we go, and head for this hole in the ceiling. Inside, you will find a Cyber Corrupt Atter. You're gonna wanna pick this up, as there is a challenge associated with it, the Stockholm Syndrome Challenge, where we have to get two betrayal kills with the Cyber Corrupt Atter, which we could do in the area up ahead. Okay, we got three ground soldiers and two heavy gunners on the upper level. 
So, to start this challenge off, I'm gonna go for one of these ground soldiers. I'll try and weaken him a little bit. Hopefully he'll go down a little faster. Come on, dude. You need to do something. Okay, we got one. Good job. Now you die. Where are you? There we go. I liked him. Uh, okay. Well, like I said, we have two heavy gunners on the upper level. Now, if you see one of them in this section here, flank around down the left. You'll have an advantage on him. But otherwise, you can head straight up this way. Ready your corrupt at her. There should be one heavy gunner around here. Let's find him and corrupt him. Then head into vehicle mode and spam a full clip of plasma cannon rounds at the far dude. And our friend should be able to take it from here. Eventually. Good job! Now you die. Dang, you're a tough cookie. There we go. Bumblebee, I cannot reach Drift. Where is he? He dead. We will do everything we can for him. But our mission is to get the dark. Uh, uh. Oh, comes are out. Oh well. I guess that is it here. Time to... Huh. I do believe that is a nest door from Dark of the Moon. They must have reused that. Yeah, I think I see the nest logo right there. Unless it was Sector 7. My memory could be off. Anyway, uh, the level kind of ends abruptly as as soon as we passed this threshold here, the chapter switches. But I'm going to stick with my formula with having one chapter per episode. So, what I'm going to do is hit this weapons terminal and swap my bolter to the riot cannon. And ditch my corrupt atter for the glass gas cannon. Again, don't have that slingshot. You know all that by now. And that is going to be pretty much it. And that will be all there is for this episode. I will see you in the next one once this one abruptly 